What's going on everyone? So the souvenir is streaming now on Amazon Prime. This is an A24 film that did reach theaters near me back in June, but there was just so many movies that came out around that time that it kind of got slipped underneath the covers. So I'm finally now watching this movie. And if you don't know this going into this movie, let me just say this. I'm a huge fan of A24 movies. Absolutely love them. I've seen 45 plus of their movies. That's a lot for one studio. Um, so I was very much so excited to watch the souvenir, especially given the premise. The premise is about a young film student in the early 1980s who becomes romantically involved with a complicated, uh, also untrustworthy man. The premise is simple, but at the same time, it also seems very interesting. But the thing is, this movie really isn't, unfortunately. I'll get into that in the negatives, but for starters, I just want to say that the acting in this movie is fine. Um, all the performances, they, they give it their all. You can tell that they're actually like trying, which is also pretty cool. Um, I liked the fact that this movie was, you know, ambig ambiguous and ambitious with its directing. And when I say that, I mean that you can tell the director did this intentionally, like the style. Like it was definitely stately paced intentionally. And I respect that because it was a directorial choice. And even if I don't necessarily like it, I still like it when a director is different than other directors. Um, I think the costumes were also really good, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's probably where my positives end. I didn't like this movie. This is the first A24 movie that I actually didn't like. Um, I was surprised at how uninteresting the story, plot, characters, um, cinematography, music, or lack thereof. There's just so many things that I was surprised at how uninteresting it was, and I know that with A24 movies, I always say that when you're watching a movie, it's all about your experience in life. It's all about where you're coming from, you know, the mood that you're in and all that. And I don't know, maybe I just wasn't in the mood for this movie. And or maybe it's just like, you know, my experiences with life aren't, you know, as similar in the case of these characters. But I, I, I just didn't like the stylistic choices that this movie did. Like, I didn't think it was well done. Especially the cinematography, I was surprised at how washed out it was. Like, it was very bland. I was like, oh my goodness, at least they that interesting, but it wasn't. The lack of score also I found to be very dull. Like, there just wasn't anything for me to grab onto. I was like, okay, maybe at the least the characters will be interesting, but they're not. And honestly, they're not even really that well developed. Like, you're watching them, you know, go through mundane tasks, and it's like, okay, yeah, this is realistic and everything, which I respect, but... You don't really get to actually know and care for these characters, at least for me personally. So that's why, quick review, I didn't like this movie. Again, I personally had some qualms with it. But again, you might watch the movie and it might blow you away. It might really mean a lot to you. And that is completely okay. It's just for me personally, based on my experiences in life, um, as well as just how I took the film personally, I didn't really like it. Maybe I'll watch it a couple years from now. Probably not. But maybe I will. And maybe I'll love it. I, I mean, I, I always go back to... Moonlight, you know, I didn't review Moonlight on this channel. Well, I did later on after it came out, but Moonlight was a movie that I saw in theaters and I liked it, but I didn't love it. And then I rewatched it and I loved it, you know, so who knows? But for now, The Souvenir, I didn't like it. I think that the acting's fine as well as the cast. I like that it is, you know, ambitious in its directing with its being different. But at the same time, I still can't, you know, give this a recommendation because of all the things I said. And that's why for me personally, The Souvenir... I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five star rating. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like this movie. And usually I agree with the critics. So that's what was what really made me surprised, as well as the fact that it's an A24 film. So, guys, what did you think about the souvenir if you saw it in theaters? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And um, as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.